who's here. Let's go check. Shorty, it's for you. Shorty, you got a package. This is going to be the weirdest video I have ever done. But we like things that are weird, right? So let's get into this. So recently, a company called Bark Potty reached out to Shorty on her Instagram asking if we would be interested in testing their product. I said, why not? Heck yes, Shorty is already pad trained. So I knew this would be something that we would definitely get good use out of. So I said, yes, all they want in return is a carousel of photos on Shorty's Instagram promoting the product. So this was sent to me free of charge. I'm not getting paid to do this video. This is not a sponsored video. They don't even want a video. They just wanted photos, a carousel slideshow, which is, you know, the, I think you could do up to 10 photos on Instagram. It's the, the slide. So they want a carousel of photos showing the product with Shorty in exchange for the free Bark Potty. So why not? I'm going to open it up here. We're going to do a kind of a behind the scenes video of me getting the photos for Shorty's Instagram. I thought that'd be kind of fun. I have nothing else going on today. The weather's kind of icky. Don't feel like going out and getting in the rain. So let's do this. We'll have a home vlog with the dog. So what is Bark Potty? Uh, Bark Potty is a new generation of pee pads made of real bark and uh, like real grass, it has that outdoorsy smell that dogs love and are attracted to. The tray is lined to prevent leaks, um, and it uh, the bark that's in it naturally neutralizes odors, so that's great. They say on their website that one bark potty is supposed to replace up to 60 of the disposable pee pads, these guys, which is incredible because these are a huge waste that fills up the trash can really fast, not to mention I'm using more trash bag liners as well, and that's not good for the environment. So less mess, less odors, less trash. I'm all for it. I'm hoping that this works out with Shorty. And if it does, we're going to switch and subscribe to this. Um, I don't know exactly how much it is. Um, I should have looked that up. So I had the information right here in front of me. Um, but I do know that the more subscription you request at a time, the cheaper it is. So if you order like a three month supply at a time, it's a lot less than once a month. So um, I buy these guys through Petco and sometimes Amazon, and I spend anywhere from $20 to $30 for a box of 100. And I go through probably on an average day, three pads a day. So that's almost a hundred pads a month for 20 to $30. So if this is average comparison price, then I'm definitely going to switch to it because I'm still spending the same amount of money, but I'm going to have less waste, which is great. Uh, one thing I'm not a huge fan of with these disposable ones is I have a cat and my cat does what cats do, varies things. So Shorty will pee on her pad like a good girl. If I'm not around to maintain the pad right away, like if I'm gone for the day, I come home, Sky will try to bury the pee, you know, like a good cat, cats bury things. 
and sometimes that'll shred the pad so that next time Shorty pees on it, it leaks through. Sometimes it gets flipped over during the, the kicking and trying to bury. And um, one side is absorb absorbent. That's the side that Shorty pees on. When Sky flips it around, you know, tries to bury it. Now I've got the, the wet on the floor and Shorty is a good girl. She'll still use the pad no matter which side's facing up because she doesn't know the difference. And she'll pee on it. And this side's not absorbent, so it just puddles up. And trying to pick up when there's a puddle of pee is just gross. So it's sliding all over the place, creating a huge mess. And now I gotta mop my floor and hope to God I don't get the pee on me in the process. <laughs> it is such a mess. It's disgusting. So if I can just be done with those that would be so wonderful because this bark potty is like a dog park in a box it's great i'm excited so uh let's open it let's check this thing out i will be pausing the video every now and then to do photos so we'll just do that yeah <laughs> as we go all right slicing into it all right here we go. Oh, this is really cool. It's almost like a cat box, but for your dog. That's really neat. What is, okay, what does that say? Dispenser built right in. Free roll of poo bags. Okay, so obviously when they poop on it, the poop's going to sit on top. The pee is what's going to soak in and get neutralized with the bark and what's in there and stuff. So you still have to pick up poo, just like if you were outside at a dog park. So they do have a free roll of poop bags with this dispenser built right in. Okay, so we will pop that open here in a second. I want to take a photo of the box before we go any further. I'm thinking just for ambiance sake, I'm going to take pictures in front of the fireplace because it's kind of nice. So we're, first we're gonna get just the bark potty on its own. And I'm gonna use my cell phone because it's just easier to do for Instagram. All right, so I gotta get out of the way. And let's see, I gotta make sure that they're all going the same direction. Let's move this plant. Or no, the plant actually is kind of nice. We'll just scoot you closer to the plant. And the plant could be in the shot too. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Click. Bark potty. Dog park in a box, all natural, multi-use, disposable pet potty. Replaces more than 60 pee pads and can last over a month. More convenient and easier to use than other solutions. Naturally neutralizes odors, main ingredients, and packaging sustainably sourced. Uh, bark potties, pripor, 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 I don't know how to say this word. Uh, bark potties. Design draws liquids to the bottom of the waterproof tray, away from the surface and away from your dog's paws. The aromatic and antimicrobial fill kills odors naturally, unlike traditional plastic potty pads that lock in liquids. Our pad facilitates evaporation, making it last weeks. Plus, Bark Potty has the natural smells dogs love. It's the perfect dog potty solution. I am so grateful that Shorty is pad potty trained because we recently had a terrible winter storm here in Portland, Oregon, where we had several days of snow and then it got compacted down because we had freezing rain for several days in a row on top of it, which created a nice thick layer of ice, which was so scary. You couldn't step out one step out the front door without slipping. And there was no way I was going to take my dog outside to go potty in that kind of conditions, risking both of us from possible falling and getting injured. So 
I was so grateful she was able to pee in the house on her pads. Plus, I am a person that does not sleep well. I get terrible sleep. And the last thing I want is to be woken up in the middle of the night when I'm finally getting good sleep to take the dog outside in the cold when I'm in my jammies. It's not safe, you know, because there's creatures out in the middle of the night and who knows whatever else. So yeah, I'm very happy that she can just come downstairs, go to the back door, pee on her potty pads, and then come back up and snuggle in bed. It's fantastic not having to get out of bed. Oh, what a blessing. And when we travel, staying in hotels, I don't know why, but for some reason, the last several hotels that we've stayed at, they've put us on like the eighth floor, which is weird when you have a dog. You know, they know you're traveling with the dog. We request, you know, pet friendly and all that. You'd think they'd put you closer to where you can get outside to relieve your pet. But anyway, thankfully she's pad trained. We take plenty of pads along with us when we travel and she pees in the hotel and we just dispose as we go. So anyway, what, a, oh, there's more stuff on the back. All right, we already read basically natural fibers draw liquids to the bottom of the fill and away from the surface, leaving it dry. Okay, it looks like there's one, two, three, four layers to this thing. Wow, okay. There's netting that keeps the fill contained, preventing your dog from kicking up the contents. Good. So if the cat uses it, who knows? She might. She won't be kicking unless she poops on it. Oh. Hopefully if poop happens, I'm here and I could scoop it up with the poop bag right away. Um, it's hydrofolic fill resins repel moisture to dry the evaporation and make the unit last over a month. That's great. Um, here's that word again that I had a hard time with. Proprietary mix is full of safe bacteria and aromatic resins that naturally break down odors. Plastic and cardboard parts are recyclable. That's great because the plastic pee pads are not recyclable. Uh, and the fill is green bin friendly. So I, we could put this in our compost. Why bark potty is better than pee pads. Budget friendly. Each box replaces 60 potty pads or more and can last up to a month, even longer if used only occasionally. Anti-odor. Uh, the fill is naturally aromatic and attacks odors. Natural material. Dogs love the outdoorsy nature. Natural smells in our dog park in a box. Much less work. No cleaning necessary. Replaces monthly, not daily, like pee pads. No leaks. Lined inside to prevent leaks, wetness is wicked to the bottom and then evaporates. No mess. Contains a unique netting to hold the fill in place and prevent messy kicking. Recyclable. Dispose of the recyclable components in accordance with your local guidelines. Free poo bags. A roll of poo bags conveniently included on the side. Nice. Okay. So instructions. It says to place the bark potty in a convenient spot indoors or outdoors so that's if you live in an apartment like on the second or third floor and you have a balcony you could put this on your balcony just a, a idea um, remove the perforated center cover being careful not to tear the netting underneath start training in the morning when your dog has a full bladder well shoot what time is it 1 30 in the afternoon that's okay um we don't have to train her because she already knows how to use a pee pad have a hidden treat close at hand introduce pet to the unit say go potty and wait a few moments repeat if necessary reward with treat and praise when your pup goes it's that easy and then they have a qr code that can take you to a training video very cool. It's pretty easy to pad train your dog. Shorty was pad trained before we got her and we were able to continue with the training here once we got her. We uh, kind of adopted her. Um, so she knows where the pads are and I try to keep the pad in the same location at all times, no matter where we go. Uh, so like when we go to hotels, I'll put it by the door because it's by the door here. 
and so on. Alrighty, so I'm going to open this um, for the uh, purpose of the photos and this video, I'm going to set it up by the fireplace just because it's better lighting in here and my kitchen's kind of a mess at the moment. So, um, you know what? I don't think I want the pee poop pads in this little side dispenser. I think I would rather take them out and just have them on my counter. I guess I don't want to have to bend down to pull one out every time I need one. But we're going to remove this top here. <laughs> mm. Actually smells pretty nice. Okay. Got a little card here. So this is what it looks like. We've got the bark in there with a netting over the top of it. Uh, the ultimate bark potty training video and it's got the QR code. Watch our in-house training expert, Zach, explain how you can train your dog to use bark potty in no time. Cool. All right. Um, let's see if I can get that poop bag out of there, poop bag dispenser, because I really don't want to use it here. It is nice that it's the little dispenser there, but I'd rather not have that dispenser there. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay. Sweet. Let's get some Instagram pictures. I'm kind of thinking about starting a fire just for ambiance for the photos. Plenty of these presto logs. Let's do it. Come on, catch. Come on, catch it. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> there we go.
have it. Bark potty. <laughs> I think it's going to take Shorty a little while to get used to it. It's a little different than her normal pads. So when I put it by the back door, I'm going to also keep one of her regular pads nearby just as a backup until she gets the hang of it. <laughs> she just pulled out a toy and she's shaking it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I know it was a little weird and different, but it was kind of fun at the same time. So you got a chance to see a little bit of behind the scenes taking pictures for Instagram for my dog's Instagram. Yes, my dog has an Instagram. If you're not following her, you totally should. Her link is down in the description. It's Shorty Winton. So go follow her. She does all kinds of fun photos on, on our adventures, road trips, and just random things around town and in the house. She's pretty spoiled. Anyway, thank you for joining us doing this video unboxing for Bark Potty. Those pictures will be up soon on her Instagram. I have to submit them for approval and we got to come up with some kind of a quote for the post. So I think something about when the weather's bad and you got to go Bark Potty to the rescue. Something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And you'll see it eventually. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.